And today I want to do something really quick, mainly because um, I'm actually going to see my accountant tomorrow. So I had to pull out a bunch of my like tax stuff and I keep it all in like, you can't see in the video, but I keep it all in this like little dresser thing back here. Um, and that's like, I'm, I'm normally a really organized person, right? Like I have like, I can't even show an example right now because this is not organized right now. Like my desk is not organized right now. But generally speaking, I'm a really organized person. This is like the only thing that I own where like when I get shit that like I know I need the receipts for, I just literally just shove it in there. Like if I get like cards or like letters in the mail, like I have a couple pen pals and stuff. Like whenever I get their letters, they get shoved in there. Like any cards, any birthday cards, Christmas cards, like they get shoved in there. It's the only thing. And those are really the only things that I put in there is like tax stuff and like cards. I don't know why, but it's just like stuff where I'm just like, I, I don't want to organize this right now. I'm just going to shove it in. Um, so... I was going through the whole thing and I was just, you know, finding all these, like all this paper that I just did not need anymore. And I'm like, you know, organizing and getting rid of stuff. Um, and I found this letter that I wrote to myself, um, actually this month last year, it's dated March 26, 2018. So a year ago this month. Um, and I wanted to read it to you guys and I'm probably gonna start crying again because I cried the first time whenever I read it. Um, but I think, I think it was really good and I wish I would have wrote myself more when I was going through this so I could look back and be in the place that I'm in right now and look back on it you know because right now it's the same month it's one year later and it's the fourth of the month when i'm recording this and i've already almost broke five figures for the month just in the last four days like that's not to brag at all it's just like this really 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 put things into perspective because you almost forget you know what i mean like whenever you're struggling 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 for so long and then you finally are not struggling anymore you almost forget like what it was like you know you almost forget that you went through that experience and i think I think it does need to be reflected on you know what I mean like I think it does need to be reflected on and appreciated for you know what it caused and the domino effect that it caused like because it does that's what it does it's why I believe that I struggled in every different area of my life that I struggled in was because it was causing something better you know what I mean it was causing you know just lessons to be learned it was causing you know just characteristics of myself it was causing you know just thought process and like things to be built for myself to be able to experience what I'm experiencing now and what I'm going to experience in the future so um i'm gonna read it to you guys but like i said it's dated march 26 2018 it says i am eight thousand dollars in debt my credit score just went from 740 to 550 i owe my mom six thousand dollars she has fifteen hundred dollars left in her bank account once april's rent is paid she'll have nothing left financially this is the absolute lowest point i've ever been in my life and because of that i will not stop until i make five figures a month i will make no less i'm grateful for this day for the person that has shaped me to be. I can't even fucking see the bottom of it because I'm crying, but like, I wanted so bad to make that. And like, now I'm here and it just happens every month. And it's, it's not that it's easy, but it's just, it's not this fucking hard anymore. My credit score is way better. <laughs> Thank God. Um, and you know, everything, like everything that's listed on here, like isn't a problem anymore. And I forgot how much of a problem it was, like, for a really long time. Like, my mom knew I wanted to start a business, so she helped me. Like, I don't know anybody else whose mom, like, lent them money to help them start their own business. Like, and I couldn't pay her back for a year. Literally a whole year. Whew. It was, um, yeah, it was really hard. And I forgot how hard it was. And that wasn't even the worst of it. Honestly, it actually got harder after that. Even though I wrote that down, and even though I was still grateful for the struggle I was going through because I knew it was gonna build me into the person I am now, and I knew that I was gonna be experiencing the things that I'm experiencing now, it got harder. I had more lessons to learn. I, you know, that wasn't it. That wasn't the, the lowest point that I had to get to. That wasn't, you know, the situation that I had to be in to teach me the lessons that I needed to learn to really thrive and experience abundance. That wasn't the lowest point that I had to hit to be able to do that yet. Um, and every single point that I hit, I think I was just praying that that was it. You know what I mean? I was just praying like, please, like, let this be the lowest point that I have to get to so I don't have to go any lower because it fucking sucked. And I know, I just, I just know how hard it can be. Um, and I know how great things can look on the outside because I know how great people can make them seem on the outside. Like I've always made things seem like amazing. They've been amazing for the last like eight months, nine months. But the reality of it is when I first started my business, like it was really hard. It was really hard. Um, and I just had a lot of things that I personally had to go through to be able to become the person that I am now. Maybe other people have to go through less. Like maybe other people have to go through more. I don't know. But 
I just wanted to share that because I again like I, I just really want to start being a lot more transparent with you guys and I really want you to know you know the whole background like I don't want you to think it's all sunshine and rainbows because it's not but that's what I signed up for you know like I signed up to not just you know have just the the great like positive side of everything I signed up for the shit like I knew there was gonna be shit that I had to trudge through to get to where I wanted to go and that's what I signed up for because I knew that the point that I was working towards was worth it um, and the fact that me a year ago wanted nothing more to just make five figures I'd never made five figures a month in my business and I wanted it so bad and now it's just it's happening like clockwork and it's absolutely beautiful and it's amazing and I'm so grateful and I wish I could go back to little Aaron a year ago and just give myself a hug and be like bitch it's gonna be all right like it's gonna be okay it sucks right now but it's gonna be okay um, and I just wanted to share that story with you just in case you're in a shitty situation you know what I mean like write it write it down like write it down write yourself a letter and you know don't stop until you've gotten past that you know don't don't like just sulk in where you're at right now because it's just gonna prolong it like just just try to do as much as you can to just you know keep going dude like just keep going because I am an example I'm a great example obviously after this thing I'm a great example that it's possible you know what I mean it's possible if you just don't give up so um yeah sorry for crying i just i really saw that i just i really wanted to share that with people again to just be transparent and like show you guys kind of like what um you know i went through and you know just to share and make sure that you know that you know if you're going through the same thing that it's gonna be okay you just gotta keep going all right <laughs> i love you guys i hope you're having an amazing amazing day and i'll talk to you guys later